Whoa, some premium bananas. All right, guys, this is what I got. Hello, Bolo Buddies. This is a special edition of Bolo Buddies with the Bolo Bro. I'm a bit of a picker myself. And today, while I was driving around to different jobs, I saw some stuff on the curb. So, as any good picker would do, you turn around and you pick it up. So I grabbed three boxes of junk and I didn't have time to look through it. So I'm gonna look through it with you guys. So let's go ahead and do this and see how it goes, see what I found. I did notice some glass on the top, so not too excited about that, but we'll see if maybe something a little better is in there. So let's see how this goes. Looks like your typical glass stuff. That ladder was is not. So let's start picking through this stuff and see what, what we got here. I think this might be a Fabergé or something. I mean, that's beautifully crafted. Let's see here. Cleveland, Ohio. Um, E-O, I can't read this. Pro, bro, I can't even. Looks like it says Brody or Brody Company. I don't know. More of this stuff, who knows? USA. They had a two dollar sticker on that one. Uh thought it was a candle thing, but no. Maybe a flag pole holder. Iron, heavy duty. A little wooden, possibly wooden stand. Some kind of clay pot. Number six or number nine. There you go. Doesn't say a thing on it. Doesn't always mean anything. Cause it could be something. Silver plate. Candle holder. Whoa, we got... Oh my golly. I think this is worth it right there. Peace. Solid iron. Solid steel piece necklace. Let's just take a look at this. Oh, it's broke. Kind of excited for a minute. I was going to wear that to work tomorrow. Another little bottle. That's that Cellini craft again. Hand rot. Never heard of it. Maybe that goes with that tray I found earlier. A little coaster. What do we got here? Everlast forged. Forged aluminum. Oh, I thought that was a candle for a minute. Myelograph. It's back when you actually used to use like a map. You'd have to want to see how far, how many miles you're in an inch on the map and show you. Oh man. Every working man has to have a six inch adjustable wrench, baby. Holy cow. Oops. It doesn't really work. 
I got excited for a minute. Thermometer. About 80 degrees, I'd say it's about right. Uh, couldn't say what that is. It does have some writing on it though. tell what it says but who knows all right that's the first box so I'm going to transfer the stuff from this box to this other box so let's see what we got here what do we have here oh man there's a thermometer up there look at that this looks like that reverse painted glass Greetings from Reed Importing Company, New York and San Francisco. It's broke in the corner, of course. 1937. Holy cow. That thing costs... I, man, those aren't expensive at all, but... It'd be kind of cool from the 1930s if it wasn't broke got here Por uh, porcelain sconce I think they're called would have been on the side of the wall and then you screw your light bulb in there that's kind of cool somebody restoring an old house or something wants that look whoa they even threw out the salt little uh, leaf what in the world I don't know if I want to know what that was used for some kind of heavy glass that say there perfection cooler company michigan city indiana who knows what the heck that is some kind of looks like it has like oil residue in there so maybe held some kind of oil or something it has a valve on it oh yeah no namer Nice belt. Don't know much about that. Never seen one. Could be uh, could be real brass there. I don't know. Somebody's name on there. Little frosted dish. Another no namer. I got too much glass, man. There you go. That's actually kind of different looking. Never seen one like that. Where would this come from? Oh my gosh. I found gold. 22 carat. Scrape back gold dust off. I might get make 50 cents off that. That's what I'm saying. Another, uh, well, that's got some kind of mark, but who knows what that is, anybody? I can't even tell, can't see it. How the... There. G... I don't know. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Beautiful blue dish. What's the sticker say? Aqua! 225. Glad they told us it was aqua. I would have never guessed. Alright, what else we got? Pretty old looking. Whoa, why would that be on the underside? Oh, it's a lid. Duh. I thought that was some kind of little thing. It's a lid. Oh, 
It looks like that's printed. It's not hand painted. Who knows? Little glass unmarked. Another one goblet. Some type. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sure some of these lids go to something in here. Yeah, a bunch of glass. Oh, there's a, there you go. Another one with the, holy cow, this has the pull chain on it and an outlet. It's like a multi-function. A dual function. Are they really old or are they just... Uh, Paul Ding. It says Cat 1760, but don't think that's true. Huh. Pretty cool looking. It's nice to have more than one if you find somebody dumb enough to buy it, right? And buy two. And another glass junk. $25? Are you seeing this? Or is that two for five? That can't be 25. Candy jar. Candy jar that's pressed with all the marks and everything. There's no way. I can't imagine that. Whoa, it's actually really heavy. $15. Oh, that's for a pair. That is heavy. I almost wonder if that's crystal. Eh. It's thick. Put it that way. It's thick. Probably not crystal. 50th anniversary. 1933 to 1983. Who's that by? Might be Anchor Hawking. It's kind of hard. Yeah, Anchor Hawking. I don't know if that's an anniversary date for their company or maybe it was an anniversary for whatever came in that. Another highly sought after, whoa. Highly sought after, right? Put a candle in the middle and put your little M&Ms around the edge. I'm about sick of looking at this glass junk. Let's see. No mark, uh, nope. I know marks don't always mean anything. Now wait a minute. We got some sets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At three dollars a piece? That's twenty-one dollars, guys. That no one ever paid. Whoa. Little coasters, Japanese. Japanese coasters. Same thing. Kind of cool. That's another lid to something. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not it either. Alright, more glass, more glass. Who knows what that says? What do we have here? One dollar. Come on, man. I mean, green. Green sells for more than a dollar, I think. Alright, so. Might not have. Oh, there's that other. There you go, it's $15. These are heavy. These are heavy. I might clean one up just to drink out of it. Just to say I did. Alright, so now the one in the back, which is. I gotta, like, one handed move junk out of the way to get the other one up here. All right. Oh no. There that went. Just broke all that. I didn't think this through. How in the world? How do you guys do this with one hand holding? You gotta hold all of it. Oh no. Just, just knocked over the puzzle. Not the puzzle. I am going to try to do this puzzle. It's got to be worth at least 
two dollars and fifty cents if all the pieces are there it'd be worth my time right spend five hours doing it for a dollar fifty two fifty or do you just sell it as is and say hey no guarantees as is no returns all right i'm getting like the all the threads and junk all caught up in it oh my word now we got tape measure oh my we got strings everywhere making like a stinking web over here Let's forget this stuff and scoot this. This has got to be the winner back box, guys. This is the winner. Whoa. This has got to be the winner. You always save the best for last, right? Another little serving dish tray thing. There you go. It just looks like royalty. No marks. What do we have here? Huh. That's kind of cool. A glitter, like a little glitter box. Please be money. Please be full of money. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. What is it, a rain? Goes with your rain jacket, like a waterproof purse? Maybe not. Cool box, though. A little glitter in there. Thought I found the money somebody threw away. Now that's actually kind of cool looking. Japan again! Wait a minute. Did I read that upside down? Does that say Japan or Met? Many? Manny? It's like a blue cross or something and Manny. Anybody know what that brand is? Let me know. It's actually pretty, pretty decent looking. Yes, and that, oh, that's an old camera. Shutter, or I don't know what they're called, not shutters, I don't know, a, a filter? Looks like an old camera filter, maybe, that like slid those old wood frame, wood frame cameras and they'd slide down. Kind of has a broken hinge or something on there. Oh. Basket. Whoa got some steel here well it's engraved it says hand engraved guys wait a minute can you see that looks like they use a little engraver to do something in there s h india 110 i don't know who s h india 110 is but they probably ran the machine that made this and we got some lidage Four dollars. It did not sell at the garage sale. It's not bad. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like some pretty old playing cards there. Oh man, the mice got to them. Chewed up the Joker. We got the man, the men, and the women. Look like they're pretty darn old. Um, not sure. Nice. Oh, is this gold? Did we find more gold rim stuff? Let's see. Nope. Not the gold. Uh oh. What do we have here? Some more steel. 
Ohio dog tag 1969 Stark good old Stark he was a good boy he was a good doggy alright so we got Japan again CI huh I don't know if that was a mistake right there or what actually pretty good shape no chips or it's not bad Got another one here looks like a little baby baby to the mommy oh no that means we're missing the lid let's see if that's in there I'd have to make it worth at least two dollars with the lid oh no this poor girl got a looks like a bee nest made on her Oh, says made in Italy. Anything from Italy is at least worth five bucks, right? I mean, it's Italian. Come on. It's got to be worth something. Got some faux fruit here. What? That's weird. What are they peeking out from under? Is this like one of those Avon cologne perfume bottles or is it really a lantern like an old lamp I think that might be legit huh kind of damaged but looks kind of neat whoa there's some heavy heavy junk here Another cup. That looks like crystal, maybe. Maybe might be cut crystal. Uh, what in the is that? Oh, you know what that might be? Is that how you put out your candles? So you don't burn your fingers off, you just set, rest that over a candle that's burning and then you let, pick it back up? I just made that up, guys, but maybe I'm right, so let me know if I'm right. Oh my, oh my. Two love birds, pink flamingos, the original package, and the tag. Number 12, Part, party something, birthday decorative, who would want these on their birthday? All right, we're about getting down to the bottom here. Here's a manly, there's a manly tool. Saw blade. I mean, I, I hope I didn't bring any mice home in this because I'm seeing some mice, mice issues down here. There you go. Looks like a rooster looking peacock bird of prey. No markings. Piece of gold right there. Whoa. This has got some tintage. It's got some pizzazz. I'm thinking 50 cents at least. It might take me a year or two to sell it, but whoa. This just keeps getting better. A peacock. Cigarettes can be lighted? Wow. You can even light cigarettes with this thing. Look at this. Original little made in Japan. Wait a minute. Yeah, Japanese original. How do you guys do this with one hand? I want to see this peacock. Whoa. All right, I, this is ridiculous. Japan, Japanese, Japan, awesome. Peacock, very nice. Nice condition, oh. 
That's actually pretty darn sweet. Nothing like a fire in your pocket. I think that might... I might have to hold on to that for a little bit. That's not bad. Can't put it back in with one hand. There's no way. All right, got some more play edge here. Himes Fair, 1968, Japan again. Whoa, they had $3 on that bad boy. World's Fair in San Antonio. Huh. Pretty cool. I think we found some gold. This has got to be gold, I can tell. Nope. Darn it. It's one of those faux gold pieces, man. Got me all excited. Mm, there's a nice delicate piece. That actually, I don't know why, that kind of just feels so delicate. It's pretty cool. Drink your tea in that. And there's another little one. I don't know why. Those just have that a nice feel. Probably junk. Tape measure? Oh, yeah. Can measure some stuff out with that. $2 did not sell. Alright, we got some plates here again. 1814, you think that's the date? Heishen... Heishen... Ter... Mohemburg... Germany? Sounds German to me. 1814, if that's... That's probably when the factory was founded. No way. I like seeing at least marks on the bottom of these things. I don't know what they mean, but M and Z, MZ, Austria. I don't know what that says. F Favory Rosie, Rose. Maybe she's the one that painted it, or that's the design of the thing. Oh, man. Oh, it says spring gold. I thought it said... 22k gold, baby. Didn't get lucky on that. Lido, Lido, W.S. George. Canary, ta Canary Tone. Made in USA. 50 cents didn't even sell. What happened to glass these days? No wonder people throw it on this. Oh, there's some nipping. I've heard of that. I guess Japan as well, hand painted, nipping. Oh man, that's got a damage mark. That's that's not. That would have been worth at least fifty cents. Now we're talking about five. All right, here's another mark. Can't read it. Made in Japan, hand painted, and it has Japanese marks. Kind of like those Japanese marks. Makes you feel like it's from some dynasty. Ching or Dong, one of those Ming. Nothing. That's a capital, Washington D.C. Who wants that? Another one. That's a plate or a bowl for that same. I can't. Hortaki. Never heard of it. Actually, looks kind of cool. It'd be nice to have a whole set. We got some little stuff down here. It's like some kind of chip to a game. We got some. There's a hole through that. So that could be an old smoking pipe from the 1650s. I don't know. Some matches. That's always good. Funeral home of all places. You always want to smoke at a funeral. More glassage with no marks. What is that? Oh, I got upside down. Vic Victoria? Australia? Austria. 
What's up with this Austria stuff? Austria. It's got a chip. There's the pepper shaker. They didn't leave the pepper in that one. Here's a uh, rat's nest. They eat everything up. That's cool. Uh, not really sure on that one. What that's for. Okay. That's another one of those same plates. What? Oh, golly. That's what you do with one hand. You can't do this with one hand. Oh, my gosh. Did I just literally crack that? This had to be the, the money hole right here. I mean, it's got flowers on it. It's frosted. Thankfully, it looks like there used to be a sticker on it. probably said Avon. So... Oh man, you got a Switzerland Thorin's Movement music box. Oh man, it must be missing the lid again. Let's see if this bad boy works. Come on, baby. Come on, oh man. We got her wound. Come on. Nope, no luck. I think I'm about ready to wrap up here. Got some Iowa where the where the tall corn grows, man. State capital, Des Moines. And Japan? Another Japanese. That's pretty good too. Got some shriveled up. Does not look too good. Another fake stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Are they maggots? I don't want to know. We're about done here, guys. Ooh, there's... Oh, golly, man. Stickerage. No clue. I think that matches that other set I found earlier. Man, this might be the president's mug. That's gotta be. It looks really professional. I think that was Carter's, President Carter's mug. And, oh wow, we found a 13243RB. I was hoping to come across one of those. Nice crow flight. Typical, oh, oh my gosh, the president's plate. He ate off his plate. Oh my word. Handcrafting, oven proof, dishwasher safe, Salem, Ohio. And then it says Japan on it. That's kind of weird. I bet that sticker fell off something else. Hopefully, we have something good here. Beautiful mug. Hall Company. With a little chip right there. Beautiful. Oh, that's a lid. Okay. Don't know. A plastic little tray. Newspapers. Ooh. Looks like we got a blue bottle. That's kind of pretty. It says something on there. Made in USA. Genuine Phillips. Nice blue bottle. And we got the thread. Looks like we got into a sewing kit here. Maybe some zipper things or something. More paper. Beautiful. 
last tray. Like a bunch of different yarn. I better not get put by a needle here. We've got threads and yarns and sewing apparatuses. And there we go. What is this? It's kind of cool looking, actually. Don't know what it says. Handmade by some, probably some ninth grader or something. Looks pretty cool, though. All right. A plastic lid. 20 elegant cards. Another glass lid, five dollars. Looks like a candle holder. What do we have here? In this series, Snow White, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, and Three Little Pigs. Wow, 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. So, if it's 300 pieces, I'm guessing there's about 298 pieces in there. Oh, here's another series. That's the Three Little Pigs one. Might be, uh, have to try to put that together. Let's see if we got anything. Whoa, now that looks like something special. Anytime you see someone's head, I mean, that's got to be something, right? Mm. Uh, Pyrex. I'm going to run out of room to throw all this stuff. A tray. And it is not anything special, I don't think. Salini Craft. Hand wrought. Does say hand wrought on there, so it might be something handmade. Washable silk tag. And an empty box. Glass. Yes, we got. Oh, you gotta be careful with that thing. Talk about some pins. Wow. Somebody like to sew. Checks pocket trivia. Alright, that'll be fun. He just 12 and up. Can't go wrong with that. A little envelope here. Nothing in it. Another little lid. It has a hole in it. it might be like an incense or something. Plastic cup. Probably not going to get too deep into this. Looks like more sewing stuff and yarn and threads. And... Ooh. Nice vintage floss. Can't go wrong with that. Look at that. Alright, get some of this paper here. Oh no. Hope we didn't just break this valuable glass. Oh, an old phone phone cord. Back when the phones used to plug into the wall. Another beautiful lid. I mean look at that. band oh there's some puzzle pieces so wait a minute I think we just found oh no we didn't thought maybe we found something there but that's not it that does not go on there another glass lid I'm gonna put this junk over here what's Doesn't look like anything. Broken knife. Heavy.
heavy duty whittled piece of wood. Wow. Japan. Japanese. Hand. Feels like it's hand painted. It's textured. Ooh, they had a $15 sticker, guys. That might be the jackpot right there, guys. $15. Well, of course, it didn't sell for that. Didn't sell at all. Another lid. No name. China. Can't go wrong with the China copper looking plate. Some patina. All right, guys, looks like uh, this was my trash find of the day. Uh, sitting at the side of the road, and hey, didn't cost me anything, even if I got one cool item. I think this puzzle will be fun to maybe put together in all my spare time, you know, because most people have so much time on their hands. Nothing better to do than build a puzzle. So that's my find guys, absolutely free and I might make 50 to 60 cents on this deal I'm guessing, maybe a dollar from Lockie, but hey that beats nothing right? So hope you enjoyed the Bolo Bro hour and we might have another one if this was even worth doing guys, uh, if I ever do this again anyone watches it and likes it and subscribes and all that jazz maybe i'll do this again all right that's it for the day have a good one